Library World and welcome to the library with Miss Elena. Our next story is one of Miss Elena's favorite winter stories to tell. It's called The Mitten. But instead of reading the story today, I'm going to tell you the story. It's about my friend, Nikki, who had a baba. Do you have a baba? <gasps> Maybe you do. Baba is another name from another place for a grandma or a nona or a nana or maybe even a yaya or granny. If you have any of those, you also have a baba. Well, Nikki's baba had knit him a brand new pair of mittens. And Nikki loved those mittens so much that he was excited when it had snowed the night before. And he asked his baba, Baba, can I go outside and play in the snow with my brand new mittens? And Nikki's baba said, Why, of course, Nikki. Go right ahead. Go outside and play. It's a wonderful day. Make me a snowman. So Nikki put on his mittens and ran outside as fast as he could. And he started to make a snowman for his baba and rolled it up. And it was a nice day and it had snowed and his baba lived near a forest. So Nikki decided to take a walk in the forest with his brand new mittens. After making the snowman, his hands started to get really warm. So Nikki took off his brand new mittens and went to put them in his pocket. But he didn't realize that he had dropped one on the path behind him. Now, when new things fall in the woods, the animals have a tendency to come and check them out. And the first animal that happened to find the mitten that Nikki dropped was my friend, Mole. Mole came along and it had started to snow. So he checked out that mitten. And he said, oh, wow, that looks like a nice warm place to stay. So Mole climbed into the mitten and got comfortable and started to snore with a <laughs> When next the animal that came along to check out the mitten was my friend, <gasps> Rabbit, good job. Do you know another name for Rabbit? Good job, Bunny. Well, this particular Bunny Rabbit is called a hare. Can you say hare? <gasps> hare came along and said, <gasps> Looks like a nice warm place to stay. And he started to climb in and woke Mole up and scared him. And Mole said, can you help me out? Can you say, no room, no room. But when Mole peeked out and saw it was just hair with his big kicking feet, he decided to move over and he let hair move in. So hair and Mole got comfortable. And guess what happened? Can you help me out? Go, they fell asleep. Well, the next forest animal to come along was my friend, Hedgehog. Good job. Or oh, his name is also, can you, do you know? Porcupine, good job. Porcupine came along and said, huh, that looks like a nice warm place to stay. And he started to climb in and the animal said, no room, no room. Can you say that with me? Say, no room, no room. But when they peeked out and saw it was just porcupine with his pointy spikes, they decided to move over and they let porcupine move in. And guess what happened? They fell asleep. Well, the next animal to come find the mitten was my friend. Who? Who was it that came along? Can you tell me who is this? You're right, it's Owl. And the Owl said, hoo, hoo, that looks like a nice warm place to stay. And he started to climb in. And what did they tell him? They said, right, no room, no room. But when they peeked out and saw it was just Owl with his sharp talons, they decided to move over and they let Owl move in. And then they got comfortable and guess what happened? They all fell asleep. Well, my next forest friend that came along to check out the mitten was, no, not skunk. He doesn't smell, but he does look like skunk. 
His name is Honey Badger. Can you say that? Say Honey Badger. Good job. Honey Badger came along and said, that looks like a nice warm place to stay. And he started to climb in and they told him, what did they tell him? No room, no room. Good job. Well, when they peeked out and they saw it was just Honey Badger with his long digging claws, they decided to move over and they let Honey Badger move in. Oh, it's starting to get crowded. And guess what happened? After a while, they got warm and cozy. And what happened? You're right. Good job. They fell asleep with a... Good job. Well, the next forest animal to find the mitten was... Hmm, who do you think that might be? Let's see. It was my friend... It's Fox. Fox came along and said, Hmm, that looks like a nice warm place to stay. And he started to climb in. And what did they tell Fox? They said, No room, no room. But when they peeked out and they saw it was Fox with his long pointy nose and his sharp white teeth. Can you show me your teeth? Good job. They decided to move over and they let Fox move in. By now, that mitten was getting very crowded. Ow, you're on my tail. Move over. Your whiskers are in my ear. You're breathing in my eye. When along came my friend Bear. Bear came along and said, Hmm. That looks like a nice, warm place to stay. And he climbed in. And what did they tell him? No. You want to know why? Because bear is so big, you don't argue with a bear. So they moved over and bear tried to move in. Ow, you're on my tail. Move over. Bear, you're stepping on my ear. When along came my friend. Mouse, good job. Mouse came along and said, oh, Wow, that looks like a nice, warm place to stay. And Mouse climbed in and landed right on the most comfortable spot in the whole mitten, which was right on top of Bear's nose, you're right. And her little whiskers tickled Bear's nose. And Bear went, <gasps> the mitten and the mitten flew through the air and landed right on the path of Nikki who is walking through the woods trying to find his lost mitten and he said oh look at my mitten I finally found it but it's so stretched out but I know exactly who can fix it so Nikki ran home with his mitten and said look Baba, I found my other mitten, but it's really stretched out. Can you fix it for me? And Nikki's Baba said, Why, of course, Nikki, I can fix that mitten for you. Would you like a nice hot cup of cocoa while you wait? And Nikki said, Yes, please. So Nikki drank his hot cocoa while his Baba fixed his mitten. All right, good job. Can you guys give yourselves a hand? Very good. Thank you for helping with that story. I hope to see you here soon at the library. Take care. We miss you here. Good night.